In this video, I will show you how to use your phone as mouse and keyboard for your smart TV. So by the end of this video, you should be able to use your phone as both a keyboard and a mouse to control your smart TV. Now first things first, you want to go over to the app store of your smart TV and search for the app known as C2's Play. So just go over to the app store of your smart TV. In this particular case, I'll be using the Aptoy TV app store. Now, if you do not have this Aptoy TV app, you can check my previous video on how to download and install Aptoy TV into your smart TV. Now, once you get to this page, you just want to go over to the top search bar of this app store. And then you want to go ahead and search for C2's Play. And what you just want to do is to go ahead and select it just like so. Now, you just want to go ahead and click on this C2's Play remote server over here. And then you want to go ahead and install this app into your smart tv and once the app is installed on your smart tv you want to come over to your mobile phone and then you want to go ahead and download the c2s play app on the google play store or app store to so just come over to the top over here and then you want to go ahead and search for c2s play just like so and you can literally see the remote over here now what you just want to do is to go ahead and click on it then go ahead and click on the install button and finally once the app is done installing you want to go ahead and launch the c2s play app on your smart tv so just go ahead and click on the open button over here click on ok click on allow and then you want to go ahead and click on ok again and at this point you just want to go ahead and look for the c2s play um, app on your smart tv go ahead and turn on this permission for the c2s play for tv app over here and once you're done you want to go ahead and click on ok click on ok now Another thing you want to make sure you do is to make sure that both your mobile phone and your smart TV are both connected to the same Wi-Fi. So if you come over to my mobile phone over here, you'll find out that my mobile phone is actually connected to iPhone 13 Sam, which is actually the same Wi-Fi that my smart TV is actually connected to. Now, once all of this is done, you now want to go ahead and launch the Citus Play app on your phone. Click on allow, just like so, and then click on agree. And now the Citus Play app on your smartphone will now be searching for available devices it can actually connect to. You can literally see my TV over here. So I'll just go ahead and select it. Go ahead and make sure that USB debugging is actually turned on on your smart TV. Now, in order for me to be able to use my phone as a mouse and keyboard for my smart TV, what I will just do is to go ahead and click on remote panel over here, just like so. And now what I just want to do is to go ahead and click on this box icon at the top over here just click on it and then i'll go ahead and select touchpad mode and from here i can now use my phone screen over here as a mouse for my smart tv now i'm going to test this out for you to see so as you can see over here i can literally move through my smart tv by just using the mouse on my phone over here now if i also want to use my phone as a keyboard what i will do first and foremost is to go over to the settings of my smart tv and then you want to go down to device preferences click on it and now you just want to go over to keyboard over here now you just want to scroll down to manage keyboard over here click on it and then you want to go ahead and turn on c2's play keyboard over here so just go ahead and click on it and then go ahead and click on ok just like so and once this setting is turned on whenever you get to any input field on your smart tv you can simply just use the keyboard on your phone now what i will do to use my phone as a keyboard again i'll just go ahead and click on this keyboard icon over here and at this point you just want to go ahead and click on this icon over here to so just click on it and then you're going to get this control panel now using this control panel you can simply just navigate through the keyboard that is already displayed on your smart tv so i can go ahead and just control everything here now finally it is important to note that this particular app can actually be used for other things for instance you can actually use it as a remote control so if you come over and then click on the home button over here your smart tv should automatically be taken to the home now if you also want to use your phone as a gamepad what you just want to do is to go ahead and click on the box icon over here click on gamepad and automatically you have this nice looking gamepad that you can actually use to control your smart tv that will be all on how to use your phone as mouse and keyboard for your smart TV. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.